and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we are going to be looking at buttons. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I have this uh, template uh, file or a simple Swift UI file created. So, so I'm going to take this um, out and uh, let's go ahead and create our vStack first. So we can start uh, putting button into our view. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to have button and button is called home button and uh, it takes uh, two of the things uh, so first if you look at it like you know it's going to be a little bit confusing uh, there are two parameters that it takes is the action it takes first the action the the thing that you want this button to do or action that it, you want this button to perform and then label has primitive button style configuration dot label that's actually just like you know what you want to display as label so uh, the good thing about buttons are like you know that they take um, anything as a label like you know anything as long as it actually conforms to a view uh, and uh, if you notice if I put a text here button here and if I give it a font sub headline okay that's how it's gonna it's gonna basically look like and if I put another text you notice that's actually a stack view in essence like you know it's a it's a it's a horizontal stack view um, created for you in the form of button that has click a clickable uh, aspect of it. Okay, so uh, that's what uh, buttons are actually internally. They are actually uh, H stack. Uh, I mean, or they actually take H stack as the as the label uh, value. Okay, so let me finish this. I'm gonna say dot subheadline like that okay and uh, we are uh, going to create our v stack inside that as well just to show you like you know that there is no limit of what you can actually have in the button so button two title and uh, So as you can see uh, that uh, this button itself has uh, all these um, uh, B stack and S stack uh, properties that we have created like, you know, inside it, like, you know, all the views. It's actually it's still uh, the whole button is actually clickable, okay? So if you write anything like, you know, print button tab, you have to see actually if uh, simulator has been fixed to accommodate this action for the button. And uh, if we pull it up, um, I don't think it's actually, yeah, I don't think it's actually working. So in order to, uh, in order to see, uh, like, you know, button in action, we'd have to actually launch the app. And uh, one thing you might notice that whenever you launch uh, the app, your automatic preview automatically goes into the pause mode, uh, which is great because you don't want two different builds running simultaneously back to back. Okay, so um, here we have our button class. Okay, so this is actually a good time to show you if you want to test something, how would you actually replace that item and display it? I mean, how would you actually display that particular view inside your simulator? Okay, with previews, it's easy because it looks it's just next to you so you can look at it but uh, if you want to modify like you know the startup file for your um, for your uh, app uh, like you know to run on the simulator or on the device simply go to scene delegate and find this uh, scene that takes will connect to and connected option and you'll find here this content view this content view is what's being launched right now this content view right so what we can do is we can simply comment this one out or remove that and we can replace it with our 
own view. And all you need to, this is all you need to do, basically. You just need to provide your own view, and voila, you have your um, your uh, view created. And as you tap on the button, as you can see, it's been actually printing inside the console when we tap, when we tap on it, okay? All right, so let's stop um, that, and uh, we are going to go back to, all right. Uh, we're going to go back to our preview mode, and uh, let's continue exploring button a bit more. Uh, we can add a, like like we discussed earlier, we can add padding to the button. Like, you know, that adds the padding to the entire button. And then we can have, uh, basically, let's say, let's have another, uh, another a, let's have a band to, to display, like, you know, other buttons. So... I'm going to create a text with a, like, you know, to create a ribbon uh, across this, running across the screen. So, more buttons. Title. Foreground color. It's going to be white. Frame. We're going to use max width. Dot infinity. Gonna use padding, and you're gonna use background. Okay, let's go ahead and try it again, and it should build. And uh, there we go. We have a uh, one more section, sort of a section created. So let's create uh, one more button now. So we're gonna create a button. And uh, we can actually, this time we're going to see how we can add uh, some border and uh, uh, a shadow around a button. So it's pretty straightforward, like, you know, the way we did it last time. <coughs> but we're still going to look at it as an example. So I'm going to actually move this and put a training closure here. And uh, here, I'm going to say, style a button. Padding, foreground color is white, background color is color dot orange. And now, if you want to basically, let's give us padding a little bit, maybe 20 points. There we go. Now, if you want to make this button rounded corner, you simply need to do corner radius. Okay, and you can say, let's try out infinity. Let's see what it does. So it makes a button pill shape. So it looks like a pill. So that way, like, you know, depending upon your button size, you don't have to really calculate, like, you know, how the corner radius is going to go. You just say, uh, hey, make it infinity, and that's actually going to make it, make your button look like a pill. Okay. I think we need to make this text a little bit bold. All right, cool, that's good. And uh, now oh, we can actually drop a shadow on the entire button. So we can say drop a shadow of gray color with the radius as 10 and uh, X and Y offsets to be on the back one one. So there you go, as you can see, there is the, uh, if I do four, and you can see like, you know, there's a bit of a shadow. I don't know if you notice that, if you see that. Let me change this color to red and you're gonna see it more obvious. Or maybe green. There you go, that's actually perfect. So it looks like a neon, neon green kind of button. Okay, all right. So um, what if you wanna add some border to this uh, button? Now, um, there are Few things you can do okay so first of all uh, you can have your uh, text itself with a rounded rectangle so you can have like you know background with the view rounded rectangle corner 
radius 10 stroke that out with color dot red and the line width of 2 right, so let's take a look what we've got there so if we remove that and uh, I think uh, we need to match we should actually match this okay so there we go like you can see uh, we have a um, a thick border around your uh, around your button okay that's one of the ways to actually get a border around uh, your button okay all right so let's, let me create another button because I want to keep all these examples here so let's say if your button needs an icon what would you do or an image right so you simply create another button in this case uh, once again action and uh, I'm gonna put a trailing closure here and uh, I'm gonna have image for example I'm gonna put DT logo here resize low okay 20 20 okay so let's see all right so as you can see um, the image is actually shown as blue now if you want to actually change that um, I mean of course you want to change that um, you can simple simply say uh, rendering mode and you can define the rendering mode to be original and your image is going to start to show up okay so let me do it 100 by 100 there you go that's actually perfect and then uh, you can have your text There you go. And as you notice, if these texts are actually center aligned at the, the horizontal space. So that's actually already taken care for you. Okay? So that's how you actually create a button with an image. Now, you can do all sorts of things uh, like padding, like all sorts of fancy things. <laughs> Background uh, color dot orange. Foreground color dot white and uh, now we're gonna clip shape so let's try clip shape and see if that actually that modifier works on the button there we go as you can see this is actually working and if you notice this looks more or less like the dash button that Amazon once had uh, if you tap on something that's if you tap on they're taking interactive this time hey you're gonna get a tutorial on demand on your way okay so um, with that like you know these are like you know so the button examples uh, that uh, you can have like I mean uh, one more thing I want to mention uh, before we go is um, I use like you know this uh, assets image but you can very well like you know use your um, as a symbol images uh, to achieve the same results right I mean you've already seen it so we don't need to go ahead and see like you know another example of that but try it out and see like you know if you're able to achieve the look and feel that you're trying to achieve for your button using these techniques okay and um, all these like you know actions and everything that we left behind we only only did like you know print but you can put like you know any sort of other actions in here we're gonna dive deep into these when we go into real programming like you know mode when we are actually connecting uh doing data binding connecting to the objects model objects and everything like that uh at that point we're gonna handle all of these operations and we're not going to look at it like you know from the UI perspective because purpose of these videos the video like today is to basically getting you familiarized with the API itself to create the the UI now rest other things you can actually 
do it MVVM way and still keep your code same between the storyboard and the Swift UI. And that's the pattern that we're gonna follow. Uh, so there is gonna be like, you know, an app tutorial where we're gonna be uh, working on an app end to end and we're gonna see how we can leverage the power of MVVM and the unique power of Swift UI uh, to basically combine those two experiences and create something really amazing really quickly. Okay, so that is the plan. So we're gonna continue exploring these UI components a little bit, a little bit more, so we feel comfortable. Like you know, we know Swift UI uh, better, just like uh, Storyboard. Right. With that said, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in next video. Thank you.